Hi, this is Brian Ierson. I'm one of the trainers at the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at how layers work in Microsoft Physio. As you can see, I already have a Physio document up. It is nothing more than a basic network diagram template. It has several objects, and we are going to start to organize this in a much more comprehensive manner. To begin, we're on the Home tab, and we're going to come all the way to the far right and locate the editing group where we can find the Layers drop down button. And we're going to begin by opening up the Layer Properties. When the layer properties window opens, in this case, you can see that we have a connector layer. It has five objects on it. It is visible. It is printable. It is currently not active. When a layer is active, as you add new shapes, they will automatically be put onto that layer. It is also not locked, which means that I can add content to this layer. When it is locked, I cannot add content to the layer. With the snap option engaged, that helps to ensure that as I draw or pull objects or move objects on this layer, that they will snap to the grid line that exists in the background. With glue engaged, this helps ensure that when I attach things using connectors, that those connectors and shapes remain attached together. Color would allow me to apply a color to this layer, which would be a good thing to do to help me distinguish what is on each layer. Now, in this case, I only have this one connector layer, and I would like to make this a little bit more detailed. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to click the new button to create a new layer. And I'm going to just start with user systems, tapping OK. We now have a new layer. It has no content on it. And now another new layer, which I'm going to name corporate systems. And then finally, one last new layer, which I will name wiring. Usually, I'm going to use the apply when I turn on and off the visibility of layers or I turn on and off any of the other attributes that each layer has. And then I'm going to tap OK. Now I need to put content onto those layers. So I'm going to start by selecting the three computer terminals. And I'm going to go back up to that layers drop down button on the home tab in the ribbon and locate the option assign to layers. And now I will assign those to the layer that I would like them to be on, in this case, user systems. Now I'm going to select all of the corporate systems. So starting with the first one, holding down the shift key, I'm going to click on each of the remaining systems. Back to the layers drop down to the assign layer. And I'm going to make those go to the corporate system. Now I'm going to select the connectors. So again, I'm selecting the first one and I'm holding down the shift key to continue selecting the remainder. In this case, I am also going to select the Ethernet system, or the Ethernet object, I should say. Back to the layers, and I'm going to assign to the layers, and I'm going to assign these to the wiring. I want to remove them from the connector layer. I don't need them to sit there any longer. Once that's done, I can just tap OK. And now, with all that done, all of my content is appropriately layered. So now when I go to layers and I look at my layer properties, we can see all of the layers. Now I'm going to start with the connector layer, which now has nothing, and I'm going to remove it. I don't really want to keep layers that contain no content. I'm going to just turn off the visibility of the user systems and tap apply, and you can see that those all are no longer visible. 
I'm going to turn that back on and I'm going to tap apply again. And at this point, since I want to add more systems to this, I am going to choose to make this user systems the active layer. Tapping OK, I am now going to go ahead and drag two new PC shapes into my drawing. I'm going to select my Ethernet object. I'm going to use the pull down to create the new connector and connect my new PCs to the network. Looking at the layers panel again, I'm going to go ahead and look at my layer of properties. And I'm going to hide my user systems. Tap apply and you can see that those have been added. Those new ones were added to that user systems. I'm going to turn the visibility back on and tap apply. And then I'm going to close this window. I hope this helps you understand layers a little bit more. I also hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on social media. You can also find out more about the computer workshop and the classes we are offering at tcworkshop.com. Until next time, take care for now.